Hey guys, Justin here for SNS Archery, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to properly sight in your new HHA Rice sight. So, in this video, we're going to cover all your basic setup, get into the adjustments that need to be made, and then we'll also help you out in selecting the right sight tapes. All right, guys, in today's video, we're focused on the Tetra Tournament Edition Rise. Now in this video, like I said, we're gonna help you sight this in. Uh, now just know that the process is pretty much the same as your just standard Tetra model. So uh, being the rise, uh, the setup is pretty much a single pin setup. Uh, however, we do have an extra pin and an extra indicator needle. So we'll get started, we'll dive right into this process. All right guys, so as far as what you're going to need today in order to sight in your sight, obviously the sight itself, uh, you're going to need your sight tapes, which is provided from HHA. Uh, in there, you're going to find some extra test strips, um, basically your calibration tapes. On your HHA sight that you received, uh, that you've purchased, there is already a sight tape provided. So this is our calibration tool right here. So other than that, you're going to need some Allen wrenches. I just have a knife here to cut the sight tapes. Range finder, arrows release, so we can actually shoot and get everything dialed. All right, guys, so the first step of this entire process is just mounting the sight up to our bow. And now the next step is pretty crucial. So we want to set our second and third axis adjustment on the HHA sight. So where this is really going to come in is as we scoot back further and further, our arrow could possibly drift if our scope housing isn't lined up with our bow. So another area, if you're shooting steep, long distance shot downhill or uphill, that third axis is really going to come in. So make sure that's set up. If you guys don't know how to do that, I'll put a video link right here so you guys can check it out um, and see the process of doing that. Mine is already set up, so we're ready to start the sight in process. So the first thing we need to do is roll our sight all the way down into a default position. So we have the lock knob here on the side. We're going to dial all the way up to where our sight is all the way at the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and lock that down. Just kind of hold it and lock it in place. So this is our default position. So what we need to do is we need to move up. I'm gonna shoot about 10 or 15 yards just to make sure I can hit the target with the top pin. Then I'll make some adjustments. All right, so now that I've shot at 10 yards, I know that I'm not gonna miss completely. So I can come back here, I'm right at 20 yards, I'm using my top pin to shoot. So I just wanna find out what adjustment on the vertical end that I'll need to make. So about the same spot, a little right and low. Same spot. So. Uh, I do need to make an elevation adjustment. I don't want to use the dial, however. So here on the front of the rail is where we're going to make that adjustment. So I'll walk back to the truck. We're going to move our whole scope and everything down on the rail. So we're going to come here. There's two sets of screws that are mounted directly on the rail. Those are the ones we want to loosen up to slide the entire scope down. If we loosen the front two, that's where our second axis adjustment is. And then we'll have to redo it. So go ahead and loosen up the two back screws and then we can slide this down tighten them back up and go back to 20 yards and shoot to see where we're at So elevation is better, we're still a little bit to the right, so we need to make a adjustment on both the vertical and our windage. So to make an adjustment on the windage, I know I'm shooting to the right, so I have this toolless lock knob up front. Now it's not far enough for me to use the, the big adjustments, so I want to use the micro adjustment. So I'm gonna make this move to the right. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise and then lock it back down. I'm gonna head back to the truck and I'm gonna lower the rail just a slight, a little bit more to bring me up to the center on that target. 
gonna go ahead lock it in and I will go back to 20 yards shoot again and just try to get it right on the perfect bullseye still our main emphasis right now we're really trying to get the top pin dialed in at 20 yards while being in the default position So that is perfect, right in the middle. I'll shoot one more just to verify that I'm good. Right there. So now I can move on to the next step of the process. All right, so the next part of this is we need to move back to 60 yards, which I'm standing at right now. We're gonna use our top pin. We're gonna dial out our sight and shoot at 60. Now, you, if you have a very small target, suggest you start at like 30 yards, dial a little bit, 40 yards, dial a little bit, just keep going, just because you don't wanna miss a target. Uh, here, I kinda roughly know where I'm gonna shoot, so here I am gonna re-verify 60 yards. Use my top pin. I've dialed out and now I'm going to shoot. So right in line, but like 10 inches low. So I need to dial down just a little bit more. Almost there. All right, so you can see my first arrow, the lower one, and then the next two, pretty close. I am gonna need to dial down just a little bit more. All right, so I took several shots there at 60 yards, just kind of fine tweaking the dial until I was hitting pretty consistent where I wanted to be. Uh, I was still a little bit to the right, so I made a small micro adjustment, and now I'm really happy with where I'm shooting. So if I look on this sight tape here, uh, my top indicator is pointing at sight tape 53. So now that I know I need sight tape 53, what I'm gonna do is dial back to the default position and lock it down. So number 53 is right here. I'm just gonna peel that off. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place the 20 mark on the top indicator, which is gonna be our top pin. So we wanna start it at 20 yards. If you don't get it perfect, don't worry, you can move the pointers up and down, uh, but try to get it close. And you're just gonna work the sight tape all the way around you can remove the test strip if you want. I'm just gonna place it right over the top. So now that we have our sight tape installed, uh, if we move out of that default position, we can dial out to whatever yardage we wanna shoot. So if I want to shoot 65, my top pin's gonna shoot 65. As far as this being the rise model and the, the double pin, so what that's basically meaning is our bottom indicator is spaced correctly uh, for the pin gap here on the actual pin itself. So uh, what that means is I can use both pins as my floater now. So here in the default position, my bottom pin comes in at 36 yards, top pin is at 20. So you can't change the pin gap on this and you can't change the pin gap in between your pointers. So those are set. So as far as the sight in process, we are all wrapped up. Uh, the last thing I would do is just go out to a bunch of different yardages, shoot, just re-verify that everything is rock solid, that you don't need to switch between a different tape. Um, other than that, that's pretty much the setup on this Rise uh, Tetra Tournament Edition. So if you guys have any more questions about this video or anything else that we've done in the past, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be glad to help, and thanks for watching.